Welcome back, guys. Dirk the Red Panda here with Tennis Ace, but this time we're gonna kind of change things up a little bit. So I'm gonna create a new series in addition to the regular Tennis Ace vids. I'm gonna do a series called First Take Tennis Ace. And basically, it's going to be more like my other videos, like where I play through it the first time, like After Class or Lunar, The Hazy Night. Whatever I've done on this channel and just played through it without recording it like formally and getting like the right take, I'm just going to play through this because right now the stuff that's on point 20 and later, the stuff that's new on there is all new to me. I've played everything up to point 0.19 before I recorded it for you guys. And so now I kind of want to just show how much I love this series. Like, I really want to show, like, through the live recording of this, or live but not, how much this game means to me. Like, it's one of the first games that got me into doing this channel, really, and yeah. Not much else to say other than just, it's going to be a great feeling for me to really show you how I feel about this game. So we are going into day 14 of Shuichi, and... My goodness, the reviews of it are pretty positive, <laughs> and I've tried to keep spoilers away, so I'm just excited, to say the least. Let's get into the reading, shall we? Alright, so we ended on the sweet dreams. So I hope you'll have sweet dreams tonight. Oh, back to the festival scene. I walk among the mass of people around, trying to follow behind the giant mound of blue fur that walks ahead of me. For some reason, today his back seems so much larger than usual. The stalls around us are all exploding with activity, with people coming and going ceaselessly. From the corner of my eyes, I can see so many familiar faces. I see Class Rep and Kyoko running a dartboard, excitedly calling people over to try them out. Saya-chan and the tennis club members are all lining up to eat some ramen at another nearby stall. J oh wait, Jin and Gin are arguing with each other because Gin seems to have eaten all the food they were supposed to serve their customers. Classic. <laughs> God, I want to see these characters again, it's been such a long time. Keikun is arguing with our teachers about something, making obscene gestures that are so unlike him. Yeah, that seemed like what he would do. Seriously, we haven't seen Keikun in forever in this, like, route. Him and Jun, we need our friends back, come on. <laughs> Jun's dressed as a taiko drummer, pounding on the drums on top of a stage with a bright smile on his face. Vic Kun and Ryuji are walking around and trying different games. Ryuji still looks just as bored as always, though. I also catch a glimpse of a white wolf, but he merely turns away from me when our eyes meet. I know what you're talking about, I know. <laughs> For some reason, Takahiku-san is throwing a ball into a target, causing Hitaka to fall into a pit of water when it hits it. Or when he hits it. Why is this such a funny thing to imagine? <laughs> ah. Alright. I have no comment for that, but he looks so much happier than I'm used to seeing him. It's such a bizarre sight. I keep walking behind Shuichi this whole time, but it feels like we never go anywhere. I try calling out to him, but realize my voice doesn't work. I reach for my throat, trying to utter some kind of sound, but as I grow more desperate, my voice refuses to come out. That's when I realize, despite all these people being here, despite them doing all these things, I can hear no sound. Then something begins to echo. I realize that it's the sound of rain, 
slowly increasing in intensity. Even though it's so faint and subtle, it also feels as if it's roaring and drowning everything else around. Okay, so we are taking back to day 10 specifically. Alright, so an altered version of day 10. Definitely liking this. Wait. How... How did I even get here in the first place? A feeling of not belonging starts to assault me as my chest grows tighter. Everything feels so... So hazy. As... Almost as if it could disappear if I reached out to touch it. I close my eyes as I grip my chest. The fear that's been building up inside of me was so overwhelming that it's almost blinding. I try to remember what I'm supposed to be doing, but my mind feels as if it's covered with a thick haze. Where... am I? How... did I get here? Just as I feel like I might be completely taken by the confusion, I feel a hand gripping my shoulder. My eyes shoot open to reveal Shuichi right in front of me. We're no longer in the festival. I feel like this place is familiar somehow, but my mind can't connect. Shuichi's mouth moves as he begins to talk, but no sound comes out of it. My brain can't comprehend what's going on as it desperately attempts to fill the gaps. I try to understand what is going on, but the fog just continues to grow heavier. Shuichi continues to speak without making any actual sound. I, f I can feel as if the vibrations of his voice are echoing through my body, but my ears refuse to hear. I try to look around me, trying to figure out what's going on. I feel my hand being squeezed as Shuichi le suddenly leans closer to me. I love you. Everything blacks out for a split second, then as his words seem to hit me like a truck. Oof. It's coming in now. It's, it's really happening. In the dream, at least. The whole world went dark for me. I could hear nothing but Shuichi's voice. But just as soon as that darkness came, it vanished, bringing everything back into focus. Shuichi still stood in front of me with a big smile on his face. He looked me up and down, expectantly. My heart, which had been racing this whole time, suddenly felt like it stopped. The only sound I could hear was the rain roaring all around us. Those words kept playing on repeat inside of my head. Ugh, why is it so hard to concentrate? Unable to think of anything, or unable to think of anything but the words that still lingered in the air, I nodded. Tears welled up in his eyes as the husky leaned closer to me. The smell of damp fur tickled my nose, which was funny because he wasn't wet at all. As my childhood friend approached me slowly, just a little closer at a time until our noses could almost touch. Oh, is it gonna happen? Is it gonna happen? A hand cupped my cheek, stroking me softly. Come on. I tried to turn my face and look away, but he gently pulled my head back to look right at him. His lips moved one more time, even though I still couldn't hear my words, or any words. But yet, I could feel the enormity of them hitting me again. It was the same words as last time. I love you. Something wet brushes up against my lips and my brain glitches out again. 
Unable to comprehend what is happening, my vision goes dark. Ooh, it happened. <laughs> Sorry, I got so into that reading that I didn't react to anything. Uh, that hit me on the inside, though, guys. <laughs> All I can feel is the gentle sensation of someone else's lips pressed up against mine. Mm. Oh my god. No, it's not real, but it's so good. I'm being kissed by Shuichi. And somehow, I'm dimly aware that I begin to kiss back. My eyes shoot open violently. As the haze begins to lift from inside of my mind, I begin to make out shapes again. I'm in Shuichi's room? Ah, that's right. I'm spending the night here because it was too late to walk back home. I was... dreaming? What? Why was I dreaming of that? I turn around in bed, only to see Shuichi's face lying right next to mine. My whole body freezes for a second as I try to remember why Shuichi's in bed with me. My recollections start catching up with me again, and I remember accepting his offer to share the bed. I watch him breathing peacefully in his sleep. Somehow, seeing him like this has such a calming effect on my heart. The rush of emotions that I've been feeling is completely drowned out, leaving only a single emotion on the forefront. The sound of my heart beating echoes inside of my head. Oh, we're getting closer. I lean in closer to him. I can feel his breathing against my face. He looks so calm and peaceful like this. It makes me so happy seeing him this way. I touch the tip of my nose against his. Oh my god, it's getting so close. I can, I can feel a desire building up inside of my chest. Oh my goodness. We know, we, we know what you're thinking. I lean in a little further and... Uh, what the hell am I doing? My brain finally catches up to what I'm doing at the last remnants of my sleepy days lifts from my mind, causing me to immediately jump away before I can go through with what I was about to do. Uh, good and bad, good and bad. <laughs> Can't imagine the repercussions I would have had. Get a grip, me! I lie on my back as far away from Shuiji as I can get without falling out of my bed. Or the bed. <laughs> Covering my eyes with my hand, I let the realization of what I was about to do sink in. Seriously, what the hell is wrong with me? I have a dream of kissing my best friend and suddenly wake up to only try and- wait, only to try and do it? That would definitely be sexual assault. And Title IX. <laughs> I'm not gonna let that go. <laughs> Seriously. Getting carried away by a dream and nearly kissing someone because of it. I'm just so pathetic. It's all that damn wolf's fault for putting these thoughts in my head in the first place. I turn to look at Shuichi again. Despite my rowdiness, he still sleeps undisturbed. Good thing I didn't wake him up. That would just be embarrassing. But I can't deny that I've been thinking a lot about him lately. Even if it's just been trying to make sense of what he feels for me. Whether what the guy said is true or not, I don't know, but...
Maybe I... Say it. Ah, dang it. He didn't say it. Not letting my brain finish that thought, I turned around in bed and tried to go back to sleep. I should probably avoid having mind-shattering realizations in the middle of the night when I'm still sleepy. Interesting. Part of day 13 and day 14. And we're back at school for once. Good job, guys. <laughs> the sound of the bell ringing snaps everyone's attention away from the lecture. My stomach is definitely thankful for the arrival of lunch break, though. Oh, is it time already? Class sure did fly today. A few students mumble half-hearted agreements, probably trying to appease the teacher. <laughs> I still love that character spite of him. It's like, that book is like some kind of weapon of his, he's just gonna fling that at somebody. <laughs> today, we had another class filled with subjects that are nowhere on our curriculum and shouldn't have been assigned to us at all. Of course. <laughs> it's good that he's passionate about his work as a history teacher, but he should really focus on the stuff he's supposed to be teaching instead of just talking about whatever he wants. Boy, you, you're not going to college, Nico, but anybody going to college knows about this. Well, I guess that's it for today. Make sure your kids check the material once you get home. For now, Enjoy your lunches. The class mumbles a few agreements as Shima Sensei grabs his things and walks out the door. Pretty sure we're not about to win any awards for enthusiasm. Or enthusiasm. <laughs> Point out the typos, sorry. I turn to look to my side and see Jun staring down at his books with a conflicted look on his face. Haven't done Jun's voice in a while, so bear with me on this. <laughs> I swear I can hear the gears turning desperately inside of his head. <laughs> can definitely picture that. Hey Jun, what are you thinking so hard about? It's, um, I'm trying to remember all this material for the midterms. They're supposed to be the week after the festival, right? Yeah, I'm surprised you're even bothering to study for it. I need a pass if I want to go on to Germany. I guess that's true. Are you feeling well, though? You only just came back to school after f being on bed rest. I'm feeling fine. Mostly just lost. I have no idea what any of this is supposed to be. And don't get me started on the math. You and me both, John. You and me both. <laughs> yeah, a few days away will certainly do that to you. And a few days of not doing your homework will get you behind in math. Dear God, I've learned. Way too hard this semester. Ah, I give up. I can't memorize any of this. I just have a ton of dates floating around in my head, and I have no idea what any of them are for. I can try tutoring you later if you think that would help. Yeah, I think it would. Thanks. Um, how about we talk about something else at the moment? I kinda don't want to think about this right now. Of course. Uh, say, how was your weekend? I was meaning to visit you, but ended up getting a bit busy. Uh, sorry about that. I did say I didn't want you guys to go out of your way for me, so I wasn't expecting anyone. Things are really just boring for the most part. Not much to do at home other than play video games, and I already beat all the games I have. What about the piano? You could have snuck in some practice at least, no? You think so? Oh, you think so, but... My parents didn't really want me stressing over the piano while I was recovering. Clever on their part. <laughs> Jeez, isn't that a little overboard? 
I know you hit your head and all, but it wasn't even a big injury. I thought you'd have been totally cleared by the weekend. You'd certainly think so. What did you... My sentence is cut off by the sound of the room's back door being opened, with Sai and Shuichi walking in together. Asu! Or wait, Os. I remember one video I got wrong saying it the first way, and then somebody's like, It's pronounced this way! And I was like, oh, I should've looked that up before. But yeah. Totally unfamiliar to me, like, never seen the word before. Yeah, so... Morning. Back to normal, guys. The difference between their greetings is certainly very noticeable. Us. Oh, I tried to do that in John's voice. Says, ah, oh, a bit tough. <laughs> All right. Morning. Kind of rare to see you both walking in together. What gives? Nothing much. Saya Chan and I bumped into each other in front of the door. Good job, Shuichi. The two of them grab chairs as Jun and I push our tables together so the four of us can sit together. We all take out our lunch boxes and put them on top of the table. Hopefully we don't get into after class territories of descriptions where we describe how we take out the food, how we eat the food, how we go to the bathroom after we eat the food. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'll, I'll never let that go. Like, it's endearing. Kind of like Jun's quirks. <laughs> you know... Er, uh, you know, I have a feeling the teachers are trying to kill us from boredom because the festival so won't be- so we won't be able to enjoy it. Say that to Jeanne. His head was about to burst just five minutes ago. Nico-san, don't say it like that. Do you need someone to help you study? I could try to see if I get some free time. Do you have any free time, Shuichi? Shuichi? No. Last person to say that. No, you're gonna complain about stressing out about your free time. Don't do that to yourself. Don't. Trust me. No, it's alright. I'll be fine. How are you feeling, though? Are you sure you're well enough to be back in class? I was well enough since I got discharged from the hospital. My parents are just really paranoid. Fist bump to that. <laughs> paranoid. Huh. Shuiji, you can relate to that too. Come on. <laughs> you got your dad. <laughs> By the way, I was gonna ask you guys before you walk or before you guys walked in the, into the room. You asked about how my weekend went, Nico san, but what about yours? My weekend. Well, whenever I try to think about my weekend, this stupid dream just flashes back to my head. Actually, I'd like to ask the same thing myself. You were gone by the time I woke up and didn't answer your phone all day on Sunday. Oh, come on. Come on, you one night stood, Shuichi. Even in your dreams, you one night stood, Shuichi. Technically. <laughs> But come on, come on, Nico, get a grip on yourself. What, you guys spent the night together? Was it because of the party? I oh, now I got lower and low. It's different because now we have multiple female characters on this novel, an exclusively male gay novel, and now we have two females. It's the end of the world. <laughs> no I'm kidding, but it's kind of hard to like for me to like raise the voice because I'm like. He think it's like, super high like this, like, oh my god, I'm a fangirl anime stereotype, or whatever like that. And Saya's kind of a mid-range like this, like I try and emulate more of like, adult females, or like, somebody I know. But it's like, if I do, I feel like I get too masculine with the voice still, like it's still my voice. Yeah, another tangent, completely irrelevant to what just happened. <laughs> anyway. Pa- Oh, right. You, you were gonna throw a party for your dad. Yeah, Nico spent the night on Saturday since it was too late for him to go home on his own. Then I woke up and he was just gone. He didn't answer any of my texts either. 
Yeah, I just thought I should get home early. I already wasn't supposed to spend the night out, so I'm sure my mom wanted me home as soon as possible. That still doesn't explain why you couldn't pick up your phone. I... I was busy with homework. I let a lot of it pile up. Too relatable. Uh, <laughs> should be doing some tonight. But saving it for tomorrow. Because everything's due in two day days and Tuesday and Wednesday. God, I spent so much time on this channel this weekend. I don't think I'll be able to do this again. <laughs> or do this much in one day, one weekend again. Anyway, seriously, you're really irresponsible, you know that? I don't want to hear that after all the work I put in to help you throw that party. Then get your homework done in time. Truth be told, I just wanted to get out of this house as fast as I could. As soon as the sun cracked, I picked up my things and left. Just seeing him in front of me already has me feeling both embarrassed and anxious for some reason. Keep that crotch closed. <laughs> I didn't want to run the risk of doing something stupid. How's your dad doing anyway? Did he like the party? He... seemed to enjoy it. He was very tired from the trip, but he still socialized a lot. He was nothing but compl uh, compliments, opposite of complaints, nothing but compliments for Nico the whole time too. That's great! I'm really glad things worked out well. Yeah, sure. Ugh, Takahiko pisses me off so much. And the thing is too, I gave him like, an annoying voice, and I'm like, I can't go back on this. But still, his character as a whole is like, <clears throat> frustrating. God, love your kids. Sai and Jun don't even notice it. But since I was there last night, or that night, I know how torn up Shuichi is about the whole thing. I'm still angry at Takahiko-san for only criticizing his son despite everything Shuichi did for him. And that's why your dad has turned you into a tryhard, or not a tryhard, I mean, somebody who tries too hard, tries to please everybody, and is doing too much for everybody, and then in reality, he doesn't need to do half the stuff he's doing to please everyone else. Yep. The dilemma of Shuichi. God, you just want to tell him, it's okay, take a break. But you can't. I'm probably getting more, like, critical into this than my counterparts for this series. But I'm getting to the real points. <laughs> uh, I don't know, it's just stuff like this where I go, This is a great story, and it's really great to analyze these characters because they actually have depth to them. I saw Hitika last night, too. Who's Hitaka? She's Shuichi's little sister. She's a freshman here in our school, and I thought you weren't going to invite her to that. I wasn't. Someone else took care of that for me. Even though I'm looking anywhere but him, or but at him, I could still feel Shuichi's eyes burn a hole in my face. Man, he's still pissed about the whole thing? Yeah... That was a very unfortunate decision, huh? I'm still gonna get back at you for that. Yeah, just tell him that you're gonna scare him. And just... Never tell him when. Just... Leave him with that impending fear of scaring him. And then just on a random day in the year... Just scare him. And then you'll get him. You'll be thinking about it. Just a tangent I've had with re my friends in real life. It's a good prank. Trust me. Uh, what's the problem in having her there anyway? I'm sure she was all too happy. She was all too happy to go. 
Oh, she sure was. Especially because this dumbass here felt the need to tell her I purposefully didn't invite her in the first place. She was all too happy to just go so she could chew me out for it. Saya winces, scratching at the back of her neck with an uncomfortable expression. Oh, ouch! Knowing Hitaka-chan, that can't have been pretty. It wasn't. <laughs> I'm really sorry. Sorry doesn't make up for it, pal. I'm gonna have your ass for that later. It was nice knowing you, Nika-san. <laughs> yes, Jun. Bring him back your sarcasm. You will be missed. And Saya. High fives for both of you. Don't just write me off like that! Um, I know I already said this last night, but I'm really, really, really sorry. I swear I'll find some way to make this up to you. Kissy kissy. <laughs> you could you could start by smoothing things over with her. The last thing I need is Hitaka clinging to me all the time like I'm a little child in need of adult escort. Wouldn't she be the little child, though? Since you're her big brother and all. Believe me, the fact that I'm her older brother won't keep her from patronizing me in the slightest. Ah, I see. You can't imagine my joy at the prospect of being babysat by her. Or you can imagine the joy- You can imagine my joy at the prospect of being babysat by her. Multiple takes. Gotta get that best line. <laughs> At least you get to spend more time with your sister. That's got to be a nice thing, right? I suppose. Oh man, that wasn't a happy I suppose. Shuichi sighs, slumping forward on the table with a defeated look on his face. I've just had so much stuff to worry about lately. I didn't need to add another one to the list. You're her older brother, though. You can't just ignore her forever. It's not supposed to be forever. Just until I can get my problems dealt with. Which will be never, because you'll fix one problem, then another problem comes out of the blue if you're somewhere else, and then it's your whole life, and then you try to isolate yourself from everybody else. And then you end up like me at times. Wow. I just got dark. Sorry about that. <laughs> I said sometimes, though. Because I'm still making friends. I swear, guys. <laughs> at least in this community, it's like that. So anyway, do you even have that many problems to deal with? That's the first time I've heard of it. Between the tennis club, the student council, entrance exams, and my own grades? Whoops, that's a typo. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I don't need to tell you about those, and that's already a lot. You mean volleyball club. <laughs> now, that's, now that dad's back, I also have to worry about that too. Why do you have to worry about your dad? Jun <laughs> being the last person to say that. So you can't be talking about crazy dads. <laughs> like, I've imagined, like, if I wanted to draw something of Jun's dad, it'd just be like Nico just playing against Tanabe or something like that, turns around, and Jun's dad's just right there. It's like, who the hell is this guy? And then just looks around. Not like I'll have to deal with him later. <laughs> or not like that'll be a problem. <laughs> ah, classic. I'd rather not get into that. Oh, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have asked. Speaking of asking things, where the heck is Keisuke? We need the whole gang back. We need Keisuke here. Heck, even bring Hitaka too. I don't know what's happening, like, upcoming or whatever, like I've said. So if they get Hitaka and Keisuke to walk in together and start roasting Shuichi, I would love this game five times more. 
you're fine. That man's just a piece of work. Takahiko-san? That's Shuichi's dad's name. Is a pretty overbearing man. I'm sure he's gonna have to deal with a lot of pressure now that he's back home. You'd be right about that. Can you believe I have to deal with a curfew again? A curfew? Not even I have that. <laughs> You're the bad child. <laughs> I'm sorry, it was too perfect to say. <laughs> That's not too bad though, right? I mean, you're not the type of to be out of the house late anyway. I have to be home by- oh my god, 6 p.m. Seriously? Seriously. Stop it, game. Stop it, Takihiko. Get some help. <laughs> club, club activities can easily go over that on some days. Just say you have club practice till 11 p.m. <laughs> or even better, team bonding, quote unquote. Just, just be like, I'm gonna hang out with some of my teammates for a couple hours because the coach requires it or some crap like that where it's mandatory. And then use that as an excuse to stay out later. I didn't say it though. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Oh. Actually, can we just talk about something else? I don't want to think about this right now. Yeah, sure. How about we talk about your lunch? I bet it's gonna be pretty and delicious today, too. No, we are not trading for lunch, Saya. Swear to God. <laughs> Actually, I had to buy a pre-made lunch at the convenience store. Was it a sandwich again, or... Or was it a gas station sandwich that's probably more resembling of your cooking? Sorry, that was a horrible joke. Please pretend that didn't happen. <laughs> Alright. He think I was feeling spiteful towards me and didn't bring me any today. Oh, Poor you. Gee, I wonder why. Well, maybe this is an opportunity to rely on her less. After all, you two don't even live together. I don't want to hear that from you. You're the cause of all this. Sorry. What is it with you today? You're just rolling along with the punches. Usually you'd have some kind of snarky remark on the ready. I don't know what to tell you. Are you sure you're okay? I'm fine. Seriously, I'm pretty sure my voice went up by one or two keys when I said I'm fine, but if anyone's noticed it, they decided to just ignore it. Anyway, I'm pretty sure you guys are gonna have way better food than I do today. Is it your cooking? I have chicken karage, or karage? I can't believe it. I Since this isn't like multiple takes or whatever, I'm not going to know the pronunciations beforehand. <laughs> so I'm going to butcher a bunch of things. Wow. <laughs> a bunch of Japanese terms are going to come up, or other foreign food names are going to come up. I'm just going to butcher them, so bear with me on this. So chicken karage, I think it is. I have chicken karage. Damn, your mom really went out of her way today. Actually, I'm the one who makes my lunches. She just leaves out the ingredients for me to use. Wait, you can cook? I studied in a boarding school, and my parents work two jobs. My husband has two jobs! I'm not gonna let that reference go. Where everybody hates Chris, I think it was. Seriously, I've waited to put that, like, remark on. Or to use that reference. Ugh, can't speak. I'm used to doing chores. Damn. Everyone's better at this kind of thing than I am. Just like everybody else was at... Oh, no, I'm not gonna spoil it. Yeah, should I? No, I'm not gonna spoil it. it it's in Jones' route. They do something together, and... Yeah. Not going further. Not everyone. I give Shuichi a sly, knowing glance. 
As I try and nudge the air, Saya immediately realizes what I mean. Oh, right. What? Shuichi looks between the two of us with confusion. <laughs> it honestly bothers me. <laughs> I really can't wait for the day he finds out. That's all. I feel awkward just looking at him. Talking to him with the others around isn't too bad, but... I'm not really being myself, am I? Ugh, my head hurts. I come out to the rooftop after class. Shout out. <laughs> after class has ended for the day. Dang it, it doesn't even make grammatical sense to throw that reference in. Shoot. So we're outside on the rooftop again. We are watching for Haruke, hopefully. Like most days, there's a nice breeze here on the rooftop, ruffling my fur and helping me deal with the heat. I'm glad the rooftop is restricted access to the students. At least that makes it so I don't have to share this place with anyone else. On most days. The only real mystery is why they never lock the door if they don't want anyone coming here. Even though we have practice today, I decided to take a few minutes to myself so I can relax before I go there. This weekend has been a little rough on my sanity. Ugh, I'm worrying about this whole thing with Shuichi more than I should be. I thought I'd re-sign myself to accept him no matter whether him, him having feelings for me is true or not, but... I... I can't get out of my head. I've been thinking about it more and more since the idea was first planted. As I'm walking to the spot I usually nap in, I hear some shuffling. It called it! I called it! Yes! I can't wait to see how this goes. Who's... Or I gotta do my dry voice. Who's... Oh. From behind the vent, I see the one person I wish I would never run into again. Well, isn't this awfully coincidental? We meet again. What? Why are you here? My brain immediately starts scrambling. I don't even want to think about being in the same room with this guy and yet here he is, right in front of me. If there's a god, he either really hates me, or has a really twisted sense of humor. I could ask you the same question. I'm always here. This is my- this is kind of my place. Your place? Didn't see your name here anywhere here. Must have missed it. Unless you're the rooftop, whose name I saw on the door. The wolf shrugs, staring at me with what is either absolute boredom or a really good poker face. Don't act smart with me. I come here every day and I've never seen you here before that day when you tried pushing me. And kissing me. Oh please. We both know I wasn't trying to push you. Is he jealous? I... I don't know what you're talking about. Whatever you say. What does this guy... What does that guy even see in you in the first place? You're so bland. Could you just shut up already? Stop bringing Shuichi into this. Why? I've struck a nerve. You know you did. It's not my fault he's always obsessing about you whenever you're around. He's like a dog in heat. Seeing the way he acts around you frankly makes me want to puke. The wolf has the biggest shit-eating grin on his face. Oh, he's so fucking smug it honestly pisses me off. Which I'm sure is his objective in the first place. I know I should control myself. I know I shouldn't say anything about it. 
but I feel like my blood is boiling as I begin to seethe with rage. He can say whatever the hell he wants about me, but... To badmouth Shuichi in front of me? He has a lot of nerve. I'll... I'll just... Mmm, we have a decision. Let's save to be safe. <laughs> Thank God they allowed us to save before this decision. We could have screwed everything up. Otherwise, save. Alright. Be the better man, or talk back. I want to do both and like go back to see what the other one does, but... I feel like it's going to do us worse if we talk back and be the sassy man. Plus, I think it would just work better for us as a person. Like, if we get some shit on us or whatever, that's like, oh, our star tennis player got into a fight. And it'll work out for us. So let's be the better man. I start reciting math in my head to try and cool off. What? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> I'm sorry, like, the only other time I've thought I've heard this before was, like, when I was a kid. Like, I was pretty good at math as a kid, especially. But any time I was stressed out about anything, my parents thought, oh, he's really good at math. If he just thinks about numbers and stuff, he'll be calmed down and stuff. So any time I'd stress out, they'd be like, just think about numbers. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, how does that relate? And it'd still get freaked out. Like, never worked. <laughs> All right. Nothing gets my brain to shut off and disengage quicker than math does. Same. I just stand here staring at that stupid smile on his face without doing or saying anything. Question mark? <laughs> What's wrong? Cat's got your tongue? Aw, poor little captain will be so sad about that. Even though every fiber of my being wants to do nothing but punch his teeth in, I refuse to be that kind of person. He can throw whatever he... He can throw... He could throw whatever abuse he wants at me. I'm not going to take the bait. He wants to get into he wants to get a rise out of me, then he'll have to work for it because I'm not giving it to him that easy. Whatever you say. Huh? The smile on his face instantly vanishes, being replaced by a look of confusion and consternation. Can't wait to see this guy with, like, multiple character sprites, or, or motives, and stuff. That'd be interesting. He must not be used to people just ignoring him like this. Come to think of it, he probably acts this way to push people away on purpose. Why he'd want to do that? I have no idea. But he probably doesn't know how to act when people don't fight back. Which is kind of already a victory by itself. What? Not gonna say anything? I know you might not be the most creative guy, but come on, you can't be that stupid. Well, sorry. Must be having an off day. I make sure to sound as monotone as I possibly can, which I didn't do. <laughs> he frowns. Nothing? You've got nothing to say to that. No witty one-liners, no snarky responses, anything. Nope. Er, nope. Sorry. I'm all snarked out. His eyes, he eyes, correction, or it's supposed to be his, but... Ah, sh I should ignore that. Moving on. His eyes, he eye... Oh no, he was right. I'm stupid. I had totally misread the line. So he eyes me up and down for a few more seconds, studying me. That's correct. What's wrong with you? Did you get him the head or something? Can't you tell what I'm? Ins can't you tell that I'm insulting you? You are. Must have been. Must have gone over my head. I have to admit, the look of confusion on his face is hilarious. Finally. He turns away, sighing. The wolf sits down on the floor, leaning his back against the vent pipe and just looking away from me. 
Jeez. Didn't know you were a boar, too. He's lost all the attitude he had just had a few minutes ago. Instead, he stares quietly at the roof's guardrails, or maybe he's looking at the sky beyond them. So, um, how come you're here? Why? Or why? You want me to leave? His voice doesn't have any sign of derision or of malice in it anymore. I think it should be derision or malice. Sorry, I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop making grammatical corrections in the middle of the video. Both for your sake, guys, and for basket cases. I bet he's like pissed off if he's watching this going, this guy's correcting me too much. Not gonna look at him anymore. <laughs> All right, so it echoes clear and honestly, sounds quite a bit bored. Instead of trying to taunt me or annoy me, it sounds like he just doesn't care. It kind of catches me off guard how quickly his personality flipped. Or maybe he's always like this? That's... not what I'm saying. I just want to know why you decided to start coming here all of a sudden. Like I said, I come here all the time and had never seen you here before. Rooftop buddy? <laughs> <laughs> Please be a rooftop, buddy. <laughs> the wolf sighs, rubbing his forehead. Don't you have other people to annoy instead of me? Friends, maybe? Sure, but neither of them are here right now, so I guess you're the one I'm stuck with. I can still walk out. Sure. That was also true five minutes ago, though, and you didn't. He sighs again. This guy sure can sigh. <sighs> if you're not going to do anything to amuse me, then you could at least be quiet. Yeah? Well, too bad then. I'm not here to satisfy your whims. Oh, so now you've got snark? It comes and goes. There's a lot of demand for it, so it stock so stocks fluctuate wildly. <sighs> You're such a shithead. Look who's talking. Oh wow, great comeback. Nuh uh, you are. I don't know how I will ever recover. If you say so. Or if you say so. So you're just going to blank me out whenever it's convenient to you? Or, so you're just going to blank me out whenever it's convenient to you? I don't know what you're talking about. Although I've got to admit, no one's ever treated me like that before. It's refreshing. Kinda amusing too. You found that... amusing? Jeez, you really are a broken toy. Pretty much. But I own up to it. That doesn't give you a pass to be an insufferable cunt, though. My favorite word to call people when I'm pissed at them. So which is it going to be? Are you going to cuss me out or tune me out? Make up your mind already. I don't know what you're talking about. You're either a giant idiot or... Actually, come to think of it, there's no alternative. I guess. Jeez, stop doing that already. It's boring when you do that. In case you haven't noticed, that's the goal. Yeah, yeah. Well, I at least have to give you props for being original. No one's ever done that to annoy me before. It's not supposed to make you happy, you know. Well, sucks to be you. You don't get to tell me how I'm supposed to feel. Just like you don't want to go to the student counselor. Or the psychological counselor, whatever it is. There's a difference. Also, you still haven't answered my question of why you came up here. 
Oh god. You're not gonna let that go, are you? Don't plan to, no. You're already up here with me, and you already know being a cunt will get you nowhere, so what's the harm in talking? He looks up at he looks up at me with a frown. It almost looks like he's weighing whether he should be forthcoming or keep acting like a jerk. Well, if he chooses to be a jerk, then I can at least tell Shuichi that I tried, but that there's no redeeming this guy. Instead, he sighs one more time, scratching the top of his head and looking away from me. The first time I came here, I did so because I was called by the captain. But while I was waiting for him, I really liked the breeze up on the roof. And how quiet it is. Oh. What? Are you gonna make fun of are you gonna make fun of me for it? No, that's not what I was thinking at all. Honestly, those are the same reasons why I like it up here. Hmm. I'm kinda surprised by it. That he would list the same exact reasons why I like to be here. That's one hell of a coincidence. The more I think about it, Haruki is kind of like a foil in a sense for Nico and Shuichi, but he's supposed to relate to Nico more that in that it's like they both seem to have gotten into ruts before, just life like life ruts with things. Like Nico's struggling with tennis, uh, Haruki is struggling with volleyball, and they're both coming to like have a peak for it. It is an interesting parallel. Good job, basket. He's not exactly very talkative, is he? Honestly, why am I even trying to talk to this guy in the first place? To become his friend, because I want you to become his friend. No, seriously, like, I would love if they turned into that, like, they added Haruki to the group or whatever, or something like that, or at least an acquaintance. Like, it'd be, it'd be great to have that option. Is what I would like to say, but I already know the answer to that. Shuichi believes he's actually a good guy who just needs someone to talk to. Well, Shuichi is also incredibly naive. No one's ever just going to solve his issues just by talking. I'm pretty sure that even if Shuichi's right, this guy's still gonna need years of therapy to readjust. But it doesn't hurt to try talking to him, I guess. Can I ask you a question? You've already been bugging me this whole time. Might as well. I'll just choose to take that as a wholehearted agreement. Why do you antagonize Shuichi so much? You've got nothing but criticism about him. Am I supposed to be, am I supposed to like that guy? Actually, I already think that you do. But I think it's best to admit that for now. Not what I mean. Just You've got to know that he means well, right? Wolf shrugs. What he means doesn't matter to me. It's the, thing he, it's the things he does that annoy me. He always keeps telling me to do things. Who does he think he is to boss me around? He... He's kind of bossy, yeah. But he only does that because he wants to help. My god, I actually relate to Haruki a little bit. I'm the guy who doesn't like help from people. <laughs> he does that because he thinks he knows better. There's no question about it anymore. Everyone in the club treats him as our only hope of victory. We have to rely on him for everything. No matter what you do or how well you do, he always gets the credit in the end. Frankly, it's infuriating. 
why should I work together with that guy? Ironically, centers tend not to get the credit. Generally on the volleyball team. It's always the pins, it's always the middles, the opposites, whatever. Never the centers, never the liberos, never coming from a libero myself. Like those positions, you don't get the kill, you don't have the attacks, or no, not doing the blocks most of the time. Setters do that sometimes, still blocking. If you're not blocking, you're just the back row guy, you don't really get credit. It's like, oh, you got they stopped the ball from hitting the ground. You're not the guy who hit it on the ground. <laughs> so yeah, I understand you in a warped sense of this world. But yeah, when you have the one good guy on the team, so damn frustrating. The guy who started in front of me last year was the best player on our team. Best libero in state. Reason I didn't start last year. Then I'm like, hey, I'm gonna start this year. Six new guys come. And two of them are older than me. And I'm like, what? What just happened? <laughs> yeah, it kind of sucks when just life throws that at you and it's like, it turns into an anime. Like, straight up, my life turned into an anime for volleyball. It's the next IQ. Stay tuned. <laughs> I'm sure if you told him how you feel, he... Told him how I feel? He's not my goddamn shrink. Why should I have to tell him how I feel? <sighs> Does he have to go against everything I say? Look, just... Take it from someone who knows him well. Shuichi really does mean to help. He just might not always come across that way. Yeah, sure. Someone who knows him well. Is that why you never realize how hopelessly he's fallen for you? Because you know him so well. <laughs> I feel... <laughs> uh, I feel for this... We all know it. He cocks his head to the side, eyeing me with curiosity. What? Not going to not going to deny it? I'm not sure I can anymore. Oh. That's it? He merely utters an O oh and looks away from me awkwardly? That's all you're gonna say? O? Oh? Last time you had a lot more that we wouldn't stop talking about. Last time you were in denial. What the hell do you expect me to say to that? You basically just admitted it. Oh. See? Nothing to be said. Yeah. I guess this is the point when I'm supposed to wish you the best or something like that. I don't really want to, but I guess talking to you was kind of fun, I suppose. Or I su so I suppose I should. I guess talking to you was kind of fun, so I suppose I should. Sorry, I totally misread that. Anyway, thanks, but I think I'll pass. He shrugs once more. Hey, suit yourself. I'm trying to be nice here. I'm surprised you even know how. If you prefer me to go back to insults, then I can do that too. Pass even harder. And then stop complaining about what you already have. Yeah, yeah. Whatever you say. We both go silent, merely staring at the sky and the clouds that are passing by lazily in the sky. Oof. Bonding with Haruki. Another title for this video. <laughs> the sensation of the wind ruffling my fur is calming as always. I can definitely understand why he'd like it up here. It's... peaceful in a sense. I guess for someone that's had the kind of life he has, peaceful would sound really alluring. And here I am, thinking about him as if I've gotten him all figured out. In reality, all I know is one little thing about him. And yet, I let that define him in my mind and suddenly I already have an image of him formed in my head. If... 
If other people treat him like this once they figure it out about what happened, then I can definitely understand why he'd be, an he'd be annoyed all the time. In a sense, I guess I can relate. I remember always being looked at with pity after my dad died. Once teachers and other adults found out, I was no longer my own person. I was just the boy whose father died in a car accident. Oh, oh now we know. Oh, a silence? <sighs> the last thing I want to be doing is relating to this guy. Or maybe I'm just trying to justify his actions because I don't want Shuichi to be wrong about him. I don't want you to be- I don't want Shuichi to be wrong either. I want to have redemption for Haruki. Please. I can only imagine how disappointed he'd be if he that were the case. And I don't want to see that. What do you plan to do? Huh? His voice snaps me out of whatever daze I had found myself in. Man, I really have to stop spacing out everywhere. You know, about him being all gay for you, what do you plan on doing? Do you have to put it that way? Alright, I'll rephrase. What do you plan on doing about him being all ga 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 for you? Wait, ga ga ga? Never heard that. Being all ga 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 for you. How is that any better? You never asked for better. You just asked me not to say it that way. Point taken. Either way, I don't know what I'll do. I'm still... Not 100% sure that he's really, you know, gay, queer, a flaming homosexual. Could you stop framing things that way? I was looking for a metaphor. And I said the actual words. Anyway, go on. Urge to smack him rising rapidly. Must. Not. Smack. I'm still not sure if those things you s if he, ugh, I'm not sure if he's those things you said. I don't know if I should say something about it or not. Unless you plan on confessing to him, then I just avoid the subject altogether. You just heard him. I didn't expect you to s I didn't expect to see you giving me legit advice. Haruki shrugs, looking bored and uninterested. As usual, I'm a little box of surprises. Besides, if you two start dating, I can only imagine how glorious the train wreck would be, so I kind of want to see it. It figures you'd have a shitty reason for doing it. God, I want him to not be so hateful of us. I want him to be redeemed. Just because I can be nice doesn't mean I always want to. Either way, I don't know what to do. If you like him, kiss him. If you don't, say nothing. It's not exactly hard. I'm not just going to kiss him out of the blue. What are you, insane? Please do. A sly smile appears on his face as he stares up at me. <laughs> he knows. It sends a shiver down my spine. Funny that that's the part you focused on. Could it be that you just accidentally admitted to liking him too? What? No! God, you get flustered so easy. So easily. Fuck you! Sorry, no can do. <laughs> when, where, and how? <laughs> that's my response to it. It looks like there's already someone else you want to fuck. <sighs> God, give me patience, because if you give me strength, I'm only going to smack some sense into this guy. Hey, you've got no reason to hold out on me. 
just tell me the truth. Why am I even supposed to open up to you? You're an ass! True, but I'm also the only person who knows, so I'm the only one who can talk to him that can talk to about it, that you can talk to about it. Sorry. Besides, you don't really like me, so don't have to worry about saying something that'll hurt my feelings. That's... a fair point. Why do I find myself agreeing with this guy? I... don't know how I feel about it. When you first told me, I didn't believe it, but... It kept repeating inside of my head. I started getting more conscious of him and noticing the tiniest things. I've done nothing but think about it since then. Oh man, I really did a number on you, huh? Yes you did. Another thing to add to the list of reasons I don't like you. Come on. Take him in, please. Don't be like this, Nico. If it's any comfort, I'm pretty sure other people's lists are way longer than yours. That is no comfort at all. Good. I was hoping it wouldn't be. You're an asshole. Thank you. You too. It looks to me that you've already fallen for the guy and just didn't realize it yet. Honestly. That's just disgusting. What? There's no way I... I... Okay, here's a little experiment to prove it to you. Think about kissing a guy. Think about kissing me. What? Why would I... Just shut up and do it already. I grumble a bit and but decide to do it. I close my eyes and think of him. I think of his body lightly grazing against me, of his face slowly getting closer to- No, 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 no way! Jeez, at least try to sound a little bit disgust- a little less disgusted. Anyway, that's your baseline. This is how you feel about kissing other guys. Could also be- just be because you're a little shit and I don't like you. It might not have anything to do at all with me look liking Shuichi. Or other guys for that matter. Sure. Whatever makes you sleep at night, man. Anyway, now imagine th it's the dog kissing you instead. God, it'd be better if you had an example of Jun or Keisuke. It's like, ah, oh, imagine some random guy. Like Keisuke. <laughs> or, no, Jun. would be better. Because we like Jun. A lot. I don't even have to think much about it. Just as soon as I con as I close my eyes, that dream starts playing again. I remember all the times I thought Shuichi looked handsome. For some reason, those thoughts would cross my mind without me even thinking it. Like when he took me out to the shopping district and he told me about all the things that had been stressing him out lately. The way he pulled me by the head hand sorry, made my heart beat fast. Or just a few days ago, when we shared a bed, the look on his face as it was so close to mine made me want to melt. I think of Shuichi's arms wrapped around me, of his lips pressed up against mine. The thought alone makes my heart beat fast, but I don't feel any disgust at all. The idea doesn't bother me in the least. Well, your face is going red, and you're not screaming out in shame and disgust, so I'm gonna go ahead and say you have your answer. I'm still not sure. Oh, for fuck's sake, just go tell him already, you fucking fat. Do I want to repeat that sentence for a better take? Not so sure about saying that word. Fine, I'm gonna do it. Just this once. Oh, for fuck's sake. Just go- oh, just go tell him- Ugh. Take three! 
Oh, for fuck's sake. Just go tell him already, you fucking fag. Excuse me? What did you call me? Or, I should probably tone it down a little for that. Excuse me? What did you call me? Get used to it. That's what people are going to be calling you once you two dorks start being even more lovey-dovey in public than you already are. We are not lovey-dovey. Up until a few weeks ago, he was not in love with you. Up until a minute ago, you were not crushing on him. See the pattern here? Fuck you. You wish. Anyway, I'm out of here. All this love talk is making me want to puke. If you'll excuse me. Knock yourself out. Literally. Against a door, preferably. See you later, too. What the fuck am I supposed to do now? I slide down with a, my back against the same vent Haruki had been leaning on a, until now. Ugh, I need to clear my head. I just... want to stop having these thoughts already. No! Oh, wait. Please tell me it's still going. Yes, it's still going. <laughs> oh, I was scared that was over. <laughs> All right. I didn't even look at the day. I'll probably have to check out after recording to see how long time has passed. But whatever. I sit down on a nearby bench to rest after a particularly draining exercise session. Even the, though the courts are being converted for use in the festival, Coach found us a loophole. We could still do most of our aerobics training outside the courts and then just go inside the locker room to get changed. Oh, that's the worst. This way, at least we don't stay idle. Some of us also take the time to practice our swings. Basically, as long as we're not using an actual ball, it's all golden. The feeling of my muscles on fire has gotten so common over the years that it's almost soothing in its own way. Yep, you'll learn to love to work out when you are an athlete. If you feel that exercise, exercising and soreness is terrible and you never want to ever do it again, sorry, you're going to have to keep doing it. Like, that's the problem with sports. Gotta feel the pain for the gain. <laughs> pain is gain. <laughs> Alright. I take a chug out of my bottle of energy drink, rejoicing upon feeling the cool liquid inside my mouth. Practice is the one thing that can get me to clear my mind. And these past few days, I've needed to do that more than ever. Coach certainly seemed pleased to see me working out with so much vigor. Never mind the fact that he has no idea why I'm doing it in the first place. How's progress? Saya shows up while I wasn't looking and takes the seat next to mine. Okay, I'm just gonna say it. Saya needs more outfits. And expressions. She's been here since day one, and has been one of the main characters in a sense, or main side characters. You see her all the time. It's the same sprite and clothes. I'm sorry. Just a rant. But take your time with it. Like, I don't want to rush. <laughs> don't want you to rush it. I've been doing some progress on improving my backhand. I don't want it ending up I don't want it to end up being targeted again like it was in that match with Yuya. That's the Akita you face in the finals, right? I nod, taking another sip of my drink. Man, that was tough. How bet I didn't expect to see you working that hard for a win before playing against Tanabe kun. I don't even want to think about playing against that guy. But yeah, that's why I'm working on my backhand. It just made me realize that if a guy who knows absolutely nothing of strategy can still figure out that my backhand is an easy weakness to exploit, then I need to address it. Sai gives me a few taps on the back, smiling cheerfully. 
It's so good to see you putting in some effort again. What are you talking about? I always put effort into it. Liar. <laughs> the fact that you're even saying that just shows how, how out of touch with reality you are. All right. The fact that you're even the fact you're even saying that just shows how out of touch with reality you are. Oh fuck off. Are you really gonna take that tone? Is it talk that? I don't know. I'm thinking too hard. Are you really gonna take that tone with me? She cracks her knuckle as a warning, and I immediately gulp. I mean, you're right. Yeah, that's it. You're right. I've been lazing around a lot. <laughs> that's better. Jesus, this girl is terrifying when she wants to be. I want to see those sprites with her. Like, I just want to see those like new emotive sprites with her just like freaking out and just getting pissed and stuff. Like, that would be so cool to see. Well, I should be getting ready to go home. I'm just going to give the freshman some advice, and then I'll be going. See ya. Have a safe trip home. You too. She gives me a little wave as she hops away and towards a group of freshmen that seem to be waiting for her. I'm surprised of how dutiful she is to the club. I suppose she was always the responsible type. Her personality just does a damn good job of masking that. Better get going, too. And now I'm talking to myself. Wonderful. Despite the protests of my legs, I wa walk towards my locker so I can get changed and go home. I swear I can hear some creaking. Ah. I swear I can hear some creaking here and there with each step I take. Guess I've been overdoing it a little lately. Ooh, he's got his volleyball uniform again. <laughs> I see Shuichi standing in front of my locker with his arms crossed, leaning his back against the metal door. Ah, there you are. I look away from him, walking right to the door and nudging him away so I can open it. Here I am. Um, do you want to go somewhere together now that practice is over? Don't you have to keep up with your curfew? I should be fine if it's just one time. Your dad would chew you out if you get home late. I know. I'm okay with that. I just want us to hang out for a bit. I think I'll pass. No, don't say that. I still can't even look up. I still can't even look him in the eye. Every time I do, I keep having those thoughts again. Just say it, man. <laughs> just let us make the decision, game. Please. Ever since that stupid Haruki told me all those weird things, I've been confused. What's wrong with me? You should probably get changed. If you stay in those sweaty clothes for too long, your fur is going to stink more than it already is. Hmm. Hmm. God, this is awkward. Can you at least wait for me while I get dressed? I... Uh, I really am in a hurry to get home right now. I'm afraid of even looking up to see what his face is like right now. Oh my god! <laughs> it's like I look at the text and I look up and I'm like, Holy crap! I'm scared. I wouldn't even be surprised if he were really mad at me right now. <laughs> I know I'm being unreasonable. I know I'm being obvious. I'm just weaseling out of an uncomfortable situation without doing anything about it. I know that. But... I don't even know what's happening to me right now. 
if I do or say the wrong thing, I could potentially ruin my friendship with him. And the thought of that alone already terrifies me. Without saying another word, Shuichi walks away from me. He's probably gone to get changed. I take this opportunity to get finished changing myself as fast as I can as fast as I can so I can get out of here. No. Before I noticed, I had already zoomed out of the door with my bags hanging from my shoulder. Come on, hopefully I didn't choose the wrong decision of not fighting Haruki. Uh, I'd freaking kick myself if that was the case. I should probably be on the clear for now. <sighs> Not being normal lately. And it's only get getting worse these past couple weeks. So many things just started clicking back into place lately. Things I never even had a second thought about suddenly seem so suspicious. I hate it. All of a sudden, I feel a hand firmly grab me by the shoulder and stop me as I walk. I'm spun around where I stand and am greeted to Shuichi. His face looks incredibly annoyed and angry. My eyes instinctively go down to my feet. You're coming with me. Shuichi, I really need to. That's not optional. He grabs me by the waist and starts pulling me back towards the school building. Wait, Shuichi! He doesn't give ear to my complaints and forcibly drags me away without a word. So glad he did. So glad. And we're on the rooftop, baby. Yes! The metal door closes behind me with a loud bang as Shuichi nearly slammed it shut. For some reason... He's dragged me towards the rooftop. Talk to me. I... Talk about what? For God's sake, do you think I'm stupid or something? You've been ignoring me all week. How about you start with that? I... I don't know what you're talking about. That's ridiculous. Come on, do you really think I'm that dumb? You've been ignoring me ever since you spent the night at my place. You barely talk to me when we're together with everyone else. You actively go out of your way to avoid spending time alone with me. You don't answer your phone. You don't text back. You're not slick. It's pretty damn obvious that you're avoiding me. That's... Look, Nico. I don't know what happened, but... I'm sorry, alright? Huh? Huh? I... Maybe I was too hard on you because of that thing with my sister. I know you meant well, and I'm sorry I got so... No! That's... That's not it at all. I see. Look. I might not know what it is, but... Whatever it is I did, I'm sorry. Why are you apologizing to me, if you don't even know what happened? Because some things are more important to me. Getting ignored by you hurts. You have no idea how much it hurts. So it doesn't matter to me what I did or didn't do. If it means you'll stop ignoring me, I'll apologize however many times I need to. Come on, just say it, Nico. Just open up. This hurts! This hurts me! I'm speechless. My chest suddenly feels really tight. Stop it. You don't have to apologize. It's nothing you did. Then what is it, Nico? Say it! Say it! Please say it! I can't think of any words. Seeing the look on his face makes my chest hurt even more for some reason. Not being able to bear it, I look away from him. No! Come on! There you go again. You're not even looking at me. 
that's not... It has to be something. Come on. Just tell me. Please. Why is he saying this? Why is he being so sweet and understanding? If he realizes what I've been doing, then why isn't he mad at me? Why is he only making me feel more confused? Nico? Shuichi calls my name out one more time. He sounds so strained. As if he's already nearing his breaking point. Seeing him like this? Hearing him call my name like this? Why does it make my chest hurt so much? I... I've just been really confused. And worried lately. Even before the party thing. What do you mean? I'm just... Unsure about how... How you feel for me. Even though I've wanted to keep quiet about this, before I notice it, the damn inside of me bursts. Yes! What? What's that even supposed to mean? I swallow one, two, three times in an attempt to get the words to come out, to come to me. Now I have to swallow for this. I decide to leave out the part with Haruki because I don't know how he'd react. The last thing I need right now is for him to get into a fight with someone over that. It's just... I've noticed a lot of the things you do or say to me aren't the kind of things you do for... for just anyone. And... And once I realize that, a lot of the things you've done for me in the past, I start seeing them in a different light. And I don't know how I, uh, And I don't know anymore whether... Whether you think of me as a friend or... My voice trails before I can finish that last sentence. No. It's more like I can't bring myself to finish that sent. Uh, no, it's more like I can't bring myself to finish that sentence. Because it's the last step. After I open this door, there's really no coming back. Even if he can piece together what I'm trying to say from all this, even though I know that it wouldn't be hard at all for him to do, I still can't bring it to words. Because whether my, suspicious, my suspicions turn out to be correct or not, Voicing them out loud would just change everything. Hmm. Shuichi. His eyes dart to the floor, looking away from my gaze. His face is... red? Something clicks inside my head. I realize that... he can't deny it. The reason he can't look at me is because he cannot deny it. Shuichi, now you're the one avoiding me. Sorry, it's just that you really caught me by surprise. So you noticed before I had the chance to tell you, huh? Man, I really hate myself for letting that happen. Even though I already knew it, hearing it, it, uh, hearing it... Restarting the line, even though I had already knew it, hearing it said in actual words makes my heart skip a beat. Oh, Why... Why is my heart beating so fast? Why is it that I... somehow feel happy to hear it? What's... What's going on with me? So... So it's true. Yes. 
I'm sorry. To be fair, I did try telling you before, but you didn't hear me that time. What? <laughs> so you pieced all of this together but totally forgot that other time. When we went to the festival and we were hiding from the rain in the alley at night. Ooh, I love that flashback. I... You... I... I can't. Jeez, it's just like you... It's just like you to be this dense. So this is why you've been avoiding me this past week? You figured it out? Yeah. You're probably disgusted by it, huh? What? It's okay, I'll... I'll leave you alone. You don't have to say anything. The sound of Shuichi choking on his words as he says them breaks my heart. He turns around and begins to leave. No, don't go! Wait! Before he can walk away from me, I reach out and pull him back. I don't know why, but my body just moved on its own. Don't just decide how I'm supposed to feel without even letting me talk, damn it! The words come out of my mouth before I even notice it. Ah, uh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to yell. It's alright. Shit. My mind is drawing a blank. Say something. Just say something. I should probably... Wait, just... Just let me collect my thoughts. Shuichi nods, pulling away his arm that I'm still clutching in my right hand. Okay. Just say what you have to say. How am I supposed to think straight when he's looking like that? Even though he's smiling and trying to put on a brave face, he's crossing his arm so tightly around his body that his hands are shaking. Just seeing this, I already know what he's thinking. He's preparing himself to be rejected. I've been very confused lately about my own feelings. What? I see his hands relaxing for only a split second. Collecting every shred of courage I have, I swallow one last time before speaking. Ever since I realized this about you, I've just been thinking about it all the time. I just can't get it out of my head. I can't get you out of my head. Or I can't get you out of my head. I've even had dreams about you and I don't know why. My chest hurts right now and I don't know why. I don't know what's going on with me. He's oddly silent right now. The things I just said, it sounds oddly like a confession now that I think about it. Just say it, please, say it, Nico. But I don't even know what I'm trying to say anymore. The inside of my head is so jumbled up that I feel so lost. <laughs> what, Shuichi? Sorry, sorry, I... Uh... No, I know I shouldn't be laughing right now. Nico, I think you might have a crush on me. I... I do? Jeez, you're so slow on the uptake. 
How can you not notice it yourself? I don't know. Is this really it? I've... Never had romantic feelings for anyone before. I don't know what it's supposed to be like. I guess... I'm a bit... Curious? Bi curious? <laughs> I don't want to accept it, but this is pretty much what that wolf told me. God, I want him to be wrong just out of spite. Do I... Really have a crush on you? Beats me. What? But you just said... Come on. How am I supposed to tell you what you feel? I'm not a mind reader. Besides, you already know that I have feelings for you. It wouldn't be, at the very least, very suspect if I tried to convince you that you have feelings for me, no? I... I guess... Shuichi reaches out with his hand, tenderly brushing it against my cheek. Do you feel better after getting it out of the o Wait. Do you feel better after getting it out in the open? Not really. I'm still confused. What about you? I... I feel so relieved. Really? Yeah. You have no idea how scared I was of your reaction. I thought for sure I'd lose you if you ever found out. I've been carrying these feelings and this fear for years. Years? Yeah. Please, let me say this properly for once. Shuichi's hand grasps mine. I swallow loudly in anticipation and then nod. Nico, I love you. I've loved you since we were kids. Oh. Wow. Wow. Just, just really really hits you. really hits me. I... Uh, I choke on my words, unable to come up with something to say. Yeah? I... I don't know. I don't even know if I really have a crush on you, and... And now love? I... Don't worry about it. I've had feelings for you for the longest time. They've had more than enough time to develop and reach this point. While you've only been thinking of me recently... Uh, while you've only been thinking of me recently... If you do have feelings for me at all, I don't expect them to have reached that point. He's being so... So understanding. My heart is beating so fast. I've never felt this way before. I don't know what to do. I don't know how to be sure. I can think of one way to be sure. What do you mean? Oh my god! Oh my god, this is the image. Oh, it's so perfect. So pretty too. Wow. My god. Before I can wrap my head around what is going on, Shuichi puts his arm around my waist and pulls me closer to him. My hand instinctively goes for his chest to keep us from bumping together. That's when he wraps his other hand around mine gently stroking the back of my hand with his fingers. He gets so close to me that our noses touch. I could feel his breathing on my face. 
my mind immediately goes blank. Everything else seems to disappear from my sight. The only thing I can properly see is Shuichi right in front of me. How about this? He looks down at me, his big green eyes staring right into me, sparkling with so much life that I can feel myself getting lost in his gaze. It's at this moment, with him cradling me so close to him, that I can finally feel the enormity of his affection for me. My heart speeds up even faster than I'm afraid I'm going to burst. But I also notice one other thing. Your heart's beating really fast. Shuichi chuckles, pressing his nose a little closer to mine. The tip of his nose is warm and fuzzy, and having it this close to me makes my heart feel hot. Of course it is. Look at the position I'm in. There's no way I wouldn't be nervous right now. I have, I have a hard time imagining you being nervous. You look so confident most of the time. <laughs> Thanks for having so much faith in me. Right now though, right now I'm terrified. Just feel it for yourself. Shuichi squeezes my hand, pushing it even harder against his chest. I can feel his heart beating rapidly against his chest, maybe even faster than my own. Ah. See? He smiles at me, and that immediately makes me melt. Shuichi can't even seem to form words at the moment. My brain is swimming in so much white that I feel as if I'm about to crash. Would you let me go one step further? My mouth feels so dry right now. I'm flashing back to that dream I had last week and that I've been thinking of since then. I feel like my heart's about to stop. Still, silently, I nod. Shuichi leans in a little closer to me. I close my eyes. I want to see it so badly. I'm not gonna go panic. Oh God, my heart's being so fast from this. Mm. I'm just going so quiet right now. God, it's so tough. I don't have a screen reaction of me, like video recording. I'm just blushing so much right now. If you could see it. Ah. Uh. That's when I feel something warm and moist gingerly pressing against my lips. Shuichi's touch is gentle, almost fleeting. It's almost as if he's holding himself back out of fear he'd make me flee. My body, however, immediately reacts to his situation. I press into the kiss. For a second, I truly believe my heart has stopped. I can't hear anything. I can't see anything. All I have is the feeling of Shuichi's lips against mine. In that moment, for some reason, 
I feel like I truly can let go of my worries. I accept his kiss and his embrace and just let myself do what comes naturally to me. My heart sings in joy, a joy I've never felt before. This is my first kiss with my best friend. And yet, it doesn't disgust me at all. I truly feel like I belong here. Nothing has ever felt so right for me before. That's when Shuichi pulls away from me. I immediately miss the feeling of his body pressed up against mine. When I realize that I miss it, I suddenly feel really self-conscious and embarrassed. Though I imagine it can't be too different for him, since Shuichi's face is still bright red. That... That was... Would it be too cliche if I said it was everything I hoped it would be? Oh, yes, flies everything. <sighs> so beautiful. Uh, that's really embarrassing to hear. <laughs> you're really cute when you're embarrassed, though. But, um, how did it feel for you? I have a hard time putting it to words, or at least speaking the words I think out loud. I can't help but feel embarrassed. I mean, this is Shuichi I'm talking about. To suddenly be talking about this kind of thing with him, about him. It's embarrassing. I... I think we're good to... Give it a try. You mean... Giving dating a try? Yeah. Oh man, my face feels so red right now. Shuichi immediately pounces on me, wrapping me in another tender hug. What, well, Shuichi? Sorry, it's just... You have no idea how happy it makes me to hear you say that. He might think I have no idea, but... The speed with which his heart is beating is already a dead giveaway. Oh man, this is so embarrassing. <laughs> I'll bet. I've had a lot longer to get used to the idea than you did. It's okay if it feels weird for you for a while. I never said it felt weird though. <laughs> hey Nico. Yeah? I know you're not ready to say it back, and I don't want you to feel uh, and I don't want you to feel pressure to do it. I don't even know if we'll ever get to a point where you will be, but right now, because I've been holding back for so many years, I just want to say it again. I love you. The sun's light shining on his face causes his eyes to seem like tw they're twinkling. It makes everything seem so much more real. The intensity of his feelings is so much that I blush and look away. It's so embarrassing. You idiot. <laughs> yeah, I'm an idiot. And I can be your idiot. You just have to ask me to be. 
Yeah. I curve my body forward, resting my forehead on his neck. At least for right now, none of this feels wrong. At least for right now, for the first time in over two weeks, my mind isn't racing with ideas and worries anymore. Oh, and it keeps going? We have more days? Oh, that's why. I kept getting Yuki Kuki's thumbnail in my thing, and I'm like, nope, not gonna let this spoil, not gonna spoil this moment. And it had, like, them, like, you know, Nico and Barris and Chuichi being really happy. And I'm assuming it's probably from this, because I haven't seen it yet. God, I want to keep going. How far have we been to this? Two hours. We can go a little longer. Alright, so day 16. The teacher has already left the class by the time the bell announced the start of our lunchtime. Class today hasn't been nearly as confusing as the past few days. For one, we were actually studying the subject matter that was in our curriculum instead of something completely unrelated. Bless Shima-sensei's enthusiasm, but the dude needs to start sticking to the guidelines. Oh my god, I realized an error I made earlier. I think enthusiasm was spelled right the first time I addressed it, and I'm just having a stroke right now with my reading. So yeah, my apologies. Hmm? Class felt a little different today for some reason. <laughs> I wonder! <laughs> the teacher probably got a talking to for straying from the curriculum. It happens every now and again. This happened before? Around once every couple months, yeah. Shima Sensei is notorious for it. I'm surprised they haven't fired him if he does it that often. He's a good teacher, and he's well-liked by the students. And that's enough to get him off the hook? Pretty much. Huh. Good morning. Ah, Shuichi-san. Good morning. Um... Hey. Hey. Oh, the sheer awkwardness. It feels so good. So awkward. Oh man, I feel really awkward right now. After the kiss we shared yesterday, Shuichi had to rush back home due to his father's strict curfew. And now we're kind of... dating? Ugh, I don't know how I'm supposed to act around him. Um... Did you manage to get home in time for your curfew yesterday? Uh, I was a couple minutes late. I was able to excuse myself by making up a lie about having to talk to the faculty about plans for the festival. And he bought that? He's got no reason not to. I'm the student council president after all. I still think a 6pm curfew is kind of ridiculous for someone our age. Most of what Dad does is ridiculous. He's pretty strict when it comes to rules and regulations. So, Nico. How was your day after you went home yesterday? You didn't answer my text. Sorry, I was feeling a little awkward. Why were you feeling awkward? Oh, Jean. Of course Jean has to know this. God bless this guy. Oh, um, that's... right, right. I forgot that this isn't something we should be talking about openly. Um, er, I mean, I asked him to do something for me, but he had to refuse and I guess I felt awkward because of it. Oh, I guess Nigasan really doesn't feel awkward about saying no to people. 
that's definitely true. Damn, Shuichi's not usually this good at lying. Yeah, I just like to please people, I guess. Actually, Nico, I came here to ask you to eat your lunch with me in the student council room. I kinda need your help with something while we eat. Would that be okay? Oh, sure. Ah, uh, I guess it'll just be me and mizuguchi san today, huh? Where is Keisuke-san? Where is he? We need Keisuke back. God, that frustrates me. It's been the entire character select route, and days 13, 14, 15, 16, we haven't seen Keisuke. I'm so bummed. I want to see Keisuke. Yeah, sorry, Junkun. I really need to borrow this guy. No problem. Have a nice lunch. You too. See you back in class later, Jun. See ya. Oh, we run into Saya just as we are leaving the classroom. <laughs> Rats. <laughs> oh, Wait, where are you two going? Oh, um... I need Nico's help with something. Really? With what? Uh, something student council related. Saya looks between the two of us and raises an eyebrow. <gasps> Is this the secret? She knows. She probably knows. And it's gonna be great to see this. And you asked Nico of all people for that. Are you that strapped for choices? <laughs> True that. Hey! No, I just preferred working with someone I'm already familiar with if I had to bring someone from outside to help. Wouldn't Keikun be a better choice for that? Yep. Seriously, bring Keikun back. Hashtag bring Keikun back. Or, arrogance aside, me. Well, yeah. But you two are already busy with your own clubs and things. Hey, don't just agree with her that I'm a bad choice so easily. Uh, no, that's not what I meant. It's just... Saya shakes her head and smiles. <laughs> Ooh, she gonna find out. You can barely even finish a sentence today. You really do need help. Enjoy your lunch. And I hope you'll be able to finish whatever it is you need help with. Thanks, Saya Chan. See ya. We need help with this raging love we got. <laughs> and other raging things on us. Oof. Classic Shuichi lying now. Oh man. I'm really not good at this whole lying thing. Yeah, I'll say. Nice job bringing yesterday up in front of Jun. Sorry. Our innocent potato known as Jun. You can't do that to him. Sorry, I forgot. I'm not used to having to hide things. Oh god. How I'm thinking about it more can't imagine this, like, having to come out to his parents or anything. Ooh, especially his dad. That's gonna be a... Mm, that's gonna be a really tough one. I still feel a little awkward around him after yesterday. I'm not quite sure how to act. So, I was just hoping we could eat together alone since we're... You know... And it's so weird to suddenly start dating after being friends for so long. Really? You're feeling that way too? Of course. We were best friends for 12 years and now all of a sudden we're dating? Of course I don't know how to act. Should I act all boyfriend-like and start spoon-feeding you or hold your hand and call you by a pet name? 
We've only agreed to start dating yesterday. I don't even know if I should be calling you my boyfriend yet. Besides, boyfriend? That's something that'll take me a while to get used to. Ah, yeah, I understand. How about we just have a set, uh, just have a seat and eat together now? Yeah, that's a good idea. At least I'm glad to hear that I'm not the only one feeling that way. Or at least I'm glad to hear I'm not the only one feeling awkward here. I don't even know how to proceed with this whole thing. I see you have a convenience store lunch today again. Yeah, Hithika's really sticking to her guns on this. She said she won't start packing me lunches again until I agree to take her out with my friends. Um, wouldn't that be a little awkward since she's... And you and I are... You know... Gee, that was so cryptic. I don't know if I can crack that code. Come on, this is already embarrassing enough. Don't make me say the actual words. Yeah, I'm a bit worried about that. I'm scared of how she'd react if she found out about us. If? I mean, you're not even sure if you really want to date me yet. I'm not going to get ahead of myself and come out to my family. Here, have a bite. Shuichi interrupts our conversation by grabbing a piece of egg with his chopsticks and putting it in front of my face. We're actually doing that? I want to give it a try. Fine. I tentatively eat the egg in front of me, feeling my face getting flushed. <laughs> this is kind of fun. This is really embarrassing. Oh, should I stop? Please. I don't think I'm ready for this kind of thing. Alright, I'll stop. Hmm. What kind of thing should we do now that we're dating, though? Do we need to do anything different? I mean... Otherwise, it doesn't really feel like anything's changed. I guess... Maybe I should hold your hand then. Shuichi reaches out and grabs my right hand, squeezing it tightly. How about this? Um... Shuichi, I can't eat like this. Oh, that's true. He pulls his hand away, sighing. Man, I really suck at this kind of thing. You've dated a lot before. What did you used to do with your girlfriends? Um, that's... Honestly, I tended to spend as little time as possible with them just because I really wasn't that interested. And when we were together, we tended to just... No, we're not ready for that kind of thing. Huh, what do you mean? I'll tell you later. <laughs> I know what you mean. <laughs> Okay. It really doesn't make it really doesn't feel like anything changed though. I don't think anything has to change. Are Are you saying you don't want to date me anymore? What? No, th that's not what I meant. Oh, I I think my heart stopped for a second there. Sorry, I might have been a little ambiguous for a second there. It's just that 
we're best friends. Even if we're dating, that's not really going to change. We'll just be doing more things we didn't do before. But I think we should just do things as they come naturally. There's no point forcing ourselves to change just because we have to. That would just make both of us uncomfortable. I guess that's true. I've just... been dreaming of this for a long time. I guess I got a little ahead of myself. That's alright. It's a big change, what we're doing. We need to give ourselves time to get used to it. I myself still need to wrap my head around the whole idea. I'm not only dating my best friend of 12 years, I'm dating a guy. It still feels strange. I'll bet. Don't worry, I'll give you as much time as possible to adjust. Should I refrain from kissing you until you're used to it? Gotta admit, after doing it yesterday, I'm already craving for more. Maybe not completely. You mean I can kiss you now? Just eat your lunch. Oh. Maybe once we're done eating. Stop looking at me like that. Yay! We continue munching on our food quietly. I don't know why, but the mood is different from when we used to eat together before. It's a lot more awkward than I thought, but at the same time, I feel really satisfied just sitting next to him. Man, I really need to figure out my own feelings, don't I? Hmm, you know, I kind of want to call you by a pet name. <laughs> oh god, this can turn out horribly. A pet name? Yeah, I kind of want to call you something different since we're dating now and all. It might be a bit corny, but I've always dreamed of calling a partner of mine by a name no one else was allowed to use. I don't know. It's up to you. I won't do it unless you let me. Although it would probably have to be something conspicuous since we can't just give away what we're, that we're dating. Maybe we should stick to shortening your name. To knee. <laughs> hey knee. Or Heiko. <laughs> I... What should I... Oh my god! <laughs> we have to choose this. What should I have him call me? Hey you. <laughs> hey you. <laughs> I can't imagine. <laughs> oh god. The struggle. Ah! I should have saved. Ah, oh, this is hard to think of off the spot. One thing that's sticking in my head right now for names is... Ryu, I think it is. I think it's supposed to be Japanese for dragon. Like, I had a friend talk about it the other day, and I thought, that's a pretty chill name. But still, it's two syllables. Shu and you. That's interesting to think about, because we're going to start calling him Shu by this logic. Ah, why am I taking so long to do this? Ah, uh, should have voted on this. Screw it, we're just doing knee and I. <sighs> Toughest decision of my life. Here we go. Hey, knee. Yep, sounds right. How about knee? Knee, huh? 
It would be funny if somebody just typed in a really, really long name, ironically, instead, and he just started going with that. Alright. I like it. Feels kind of embarrassing, though. But... I guess it's good. Now I'll be the only one who gets to call you something different. That's one way to feel special. You're pretty easy to please, huh? Pretty much. And by the way, I love you, Nii. I love you, Nii. I don't know. I'm not sure if it's gonna flow right. Like, I, I think it's the only logical one to do, but I'm thinking too hard about our nickname. I'm sorry, guys. Huh? Don't just say it out of nowhere. It's embarrassing. <laughs> it just feels so good to finally be allowed to say it. You're so weird. By the way, I've already finished my lunch. Do I get a kiss now? <laughs> Aw, how sweet. You won't let this go, will you? Not unless you actually say no. My face feels so hot right now. I'm gonna finish my food first. Sure. It's going to take me some time to get used to all of this. Oh, new music. I think this is new music. It's pretty good. I'm walking towards practice for the day. Not to, but towards. I've been doing some good progress on working on my stamina and backhand lately. Since those are my weakest areas, it's been it's been good to be able to work on them. Yes, Keisuke's back. Hashtag bring K back. Woo, we did it, guys. Even though this hasn't been released yet. <laughs> I see Keikun and Saya talking to each other in front of the building while a mass of students does a variety of exercises on the side. Ah, good afternoon, Nikosan. Hey there. What are you guys talking about? We were discussing the probability or possibility of renting a few courts for the students that will be taking part in the Kanto Regional Tournament in July. It's not good to be missing practice for a whole month. I think I did that in Hitaka's voice. Shoot. Should I redo it? Saya is high pitched for one line. Moving on. That sounds like a good idea. What do you guys need? Right now, budget. Even if it's just until the festival is over. Renting courts for five hours a day and five days a week would be pretty costly. We'd have to submit a request to the student council and they would then have to submit it to the school. Alright, that's her voice. Got it now. And regarding that... Maybe... Just... Maybe... We have private practices at Keisuke's house. <laughs> I'm sorry. Alright, anyway. Oh, great. Bureaucracy. We do have Urata who can intercede on our behalf if we ask nicely. Just try not to ask too many favors of him. He's already got a lot of stuff to do as is. I know that. It's just this one thing. By the way, did you guys manage to get that thing done? <laughs> that thing. Yes, we got that thing done. What thing? Oh shit. <laughs> That's my mind. That'd, that'd be my mind right now if I was Nico. Um, the thing he pulled you away during lunch to do. Oh. Yeah, that. Sure, we managed to get it done. You guys were working on something during lunchtime? What was it? Chemistry. <laughs> it's just student council stuff. Really boring. Just forget about it. 
You do know I plan to run for the student council next year, right? Knowing about it could even be helpful for me. <laughs> I'm just laughing right now, like, off to the side, just... Uh, <laughs> the, the awkwardness is great. That's a bit... And there he is, the best boy. Hey guys. What? Shuichi suddenly walks up behind me, putting a hand on my shoulder and making me jump, as usual. <laughs> Urata, have you been using Nikosan to ask help for student council related issues? Uh, just this morning, why? You know, I actually want to be in the student council. Why couldn't you call me? That's what I asked him this morning. Come on, don't make me make a big deal out of this. I just had to pick up people that could all help me and I decided I preferred me with me. <gasps> he said it. <laughs> me? Saya looks right at me with a raised eyebrow. <laughs> she knows. I think. I immediately look away, suddenly feeling very exposed. Uh, I just thought I'd switch things up a bit, no big deal. Now, if you guys don't mind, I'm going to steal Nico for the day. What? But I have practice! Come on, I just need your help with something. Ready, please? Twice in a single day? Give him a rest. He was just telling us not to ask too many favors of you, and here you are doing it again the same day. Asking me favors? They want your help to secure more budget for the tennis club so we can rent courts for the players that will participate in the regional tournaments to practice. Oh. Sure, why not? Submit an application and I'll have to look. See if I can fast track the process. That easy? Of course. It's your club after all and it'll directly benefit you. Why shouldn't I? Yep. Perfect silence. This feels weird. Am I getting preferential treatment? This isn't just for Nikosan's sake, you know. Hmm. Let the light bulb click. Let the light bulb click, you know. You gotta know it, Saya. Sila looks between the two of us with a raised eyebrow. <laughs> it's happening. For some reason, it kinda creeps me out. I... Um, as long as it helps the club, then it's fine, right? I suppose so. Anyway, I really need to steal him away now. Need him to help me choose some new... Uh, drapes for the house. Dad wants to do some renewal. And he's doing that by buying new drapes. Sure, why not? Learn to lie better! I... I guess I should go with him then. Wouldn't want his father to... dislike his new drapes. Sure, you do that. Alright. I'll get started on that application right after we end for the day. I'll see about having it ready for you in the morning, Uratha. Great. I'll be waiting. To the cherry blossoms! <laughs> Keisuke's worst nightmare. Shuichi takes me to a nearby park. He's all smiles the entire way there. Even as we walk in silence. I can't help but feel a little annoyed the entire way there. What's wrong? You don't look so chipper right now. You're way too obvious. I am? But I'm not even touching you right now. I'm not talking about now. Look at the horrible excuse you gave them. 
I'm sure Saya already thinks there's something up. With her, I wouldn't really doubt it. What's that supposed to mean? Oh, it's just that Saya Chan is really perceptive. A lot more than you think. How so? Okay, uh, please don't get mad. Ah, uh, of course. I'm not going to like this, am I? She's kind of known about my feelings for you for a while now. What? I don't really know how she figured it out. She just walked up to me one day and asked me point blank about it. She later agreed to keep it a secret because she didn't want our friendship at risk. She did say I needed to learn to be a little less obvious though. Why am I not surprised? Sorry. Is that it though? If so, I'll try to be a little more careful. I'm just so happy right now, I can't help it. His tail wagging at the speed of a helicopter blade certainly makes that abundantly clear. Are we good then? When I don't answer, the look on his face shifts. Ni? Is there something else? Just... You got me pulled out of practice without even asking me if I was okay with that. I was actually looking forward to it today, as you know. Oh. I'm sorry. I didn't think you'd... I thought you'd be happy about that. I just really want to spend even more time with you now that we're dating. I guess I wasn't thinking. I don't even think that it's a bad thing. Just ask me beforehand, okay? Roger. And, um, sorry. I'm still pretty new to this whole dating thing. I don't really know how I'm supposed to act. It's alright. We'll figure this out together. Man, I feel weird for saying that. Every time I think it out, I have a small pause in my brain where it just goes, Shuichi and I dating? What are you, crazy? I'm gonna have to learn to get rid of that one, huh? So, was there anything you had in mind that you wanted to do? Not at all. I just wanted to spend some time with you. I don't really mind what we're doing. You really are easy to please. I am. As long as I'm with you, I'm already happy. Man, you really have some pretty sappy lines now that we're dating. I've always wanted to say them, but since we weren't dating before, I thought you'd be creeped out. That was probably a good call. Oh, I know. How about we go out for some ice cream? That's a thing that couples do, right? It's also a thing we already did even before we started dating, and a thing I already did with Keisuke earlier in day two. Or, yeah, it was day two, I think. Hmm. I guess that's true. Honestly, do you even remember what I told you this morning? You don't need to keep racking your brain trying to think of couples activities. I know that. I just wanted us to do something fun together. What's wrong with just having fun by doing the things we usually do? I guess there's nothing wrong. I'm just a bit... I'm just being a bit greedy. Huh. <laughs> that you are. Hey. Can you come with me for a second? Shuichi grabs my hand and drags me to a few nearby trees. Um, what are you doing? I just thought this patch of trees would be semi-private, so I wanted to come here for a bit. 
What? Oh, did he just kiss us? Before my brain can even process what happened, I feel something press against my lips and quickly pull back. What? <laughs> Sorry, I just really wanted to kiss you. Warn me before you do things like that. Okay. Oh, he's so sweet though. <laughs> <laughs> I'm loving this. I'm eating this up. Ah, the excitement has turned him into a happy-go-lucky idiot. Just like Jean. <laughs> he's turning into Jean. Help! <laughs> you don't seem too happy. You're kissing me in public. I'm embarrassed. There's no one around, though. We should be fine. You're too relaxed. There's no way I can tell him that I actually liked it. He's already being dumb and careless as is. He doesn't need another nudge. Really. Because from my point of view, you're the one who's too tense. Whatever you say. Now let's go for that ice cream. It's really going to take me a while to get used to this. Ah, this was a lot of fun to write. And we made it to the end. Let's see what he has to say. I'm probably going to have to save this, like, after this video ends. I'm sure a lot of you weren't expecting this. I just hope I was able to update to this... Wait, I was ho I was able... I just hope I was able to bring this update justice, despite being strapped for time. My goodness, Basket, you've done more than justice for this update. You did a lot for this. I was just expecting day 14 and that was it. And you went two steps further. <laughs> I thought I would have had to wait a few months for that. My goodness. I am satisfied. What else? Once the next update rolls around, I'll already be settled into my new house. Hopefully once my move is over, I'll have time to get back on a regular work schedule. Awesome, awesome. I'm sorry for the delay, and I hope you guys enjoy this update. See you all again on the next one. Nice. We are back at the loading screen. I'll just put my cursor here. So... What did I think of that update? Yes, that was a good update. My goodness, I could see why everybody was like flipping out about this update. I was so tempted to watch the Patreon or whatever the other people's videos that released it before the public update and oh my goodness. It would have spoiled everything like it feels great that I waited for this. And, yeah, sorry, I just was checking my phone for that, but I'm really happy with how they did this. Like, it's going to be really awkward. Things are just really, like, Nico's very, like, you know, holding back. Like, he's kind of hesitant, I would say. Like, he's very hesitant. And, yeah, Shuichi's just been desiring this for a long time, and oh, I just love Shuichi for that, like. You finally got each other to break out for it. It was a two-way street for how like, it came out, but... I'm glad it happened, at least, like the way it did. Thank God Shuichi addressed us like that. <sighs> and other than that, like, other characters... So glad Keisuke is back. <laughs> Keep saying that, but... It seems like in other routes, he doesn't get much attention. Other than, like, one day or so with Jun or whatever. But... Yeah, I'm glad we talked to Haruke and, you know, get, got to know him a little better. I really hope that we keep getting on better terms with him and with Shuichi too, with him. Like, if that's something, ask a case if you're watching, that's one thing I would like. As you know, just a suggestion. I'm not trying to, you know, be that guy who's like, it must be like this. But, yeah, I'm really loving the direction this is going. And it just, I feel like the next time Shuichi gets updated, 
it's gonna be really fun and humorous to see how they find out or how things get closer to that. I don't see this as dragging on with just, oh, we're just gonna do another date, just do another date, kind of like other games. Um, yeah, other than that, right now, I've done all Shuichi stuff, so I can go back and do Keisuke and Jun stuff. Um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna make a separate video for this, but if I don't, leave me suggestions on whose route I should do next. Keisuke or Jun's. I may have to go back and do their day 10 separately before I get into their actual route, but... Either way, I just think it's gonna be good with what happens, like, we're gonna do, like, from what I've played of Day 13 from Jeanne and Keisuke, they're both well written, Keisuke only has Day 13 out right now, Jeanne's got Day 14 out, which is why I almost referenced what happened with Saya, and so, like, Jeanne's two days are pretty solid, like, his whole route's pretty solid in general, but... I think other YouTubers may be doing that one. KSK seems to be the one that people aren't giving much love for, and I'm assuming that's what's gonna be the next update. And I'm kinda curious. I may wanna do that, so I might take suggestions for who to do for the next route. Now I'm backtracking my or taking back kind of my last statement about voting. Feel free to do it still. It's still uh, not set in stone, but I'm leaning towards that now, just maybe choosing Keisuke if I feel like doing Tennessee still throughout this month or whatever. Until Shuichi's gets updated. Yeah, I've talked for like probably a couple minutes now. And yeah, I'm kind of bummed, not about the game, but just personally that I didn't like have all the theatrics that I expected. I felt like I would have been like screaming or internally screaming a little more. Not like screeching, but just, you know, ah, oh my god, or just things like that. I'm not the best at, you know, showing that stuff. Not just gonna say react, because, you know, reacting then it's like it sounds fake. But I just felt like it just hit me a lot on the inside, and I couldn't show you that through the mic. But just let me, just guys, I'm gonna tell you that I really felt it on this side of the microphone but yeah that's all i got for this episode of first take tennis ace i'm not sure now if i'm gonna end up going back and editing things to make a formal tennis ace recording but yeah i might just like edit this down to like the per better takes and dub over some parts i messed up but yeah that is all i got for this episode and until next time, take care, guys.